Testing, testing, testing. One, two, three. One, two, three. This is a test. This is a test. This is a test. Test, test, test. <laughs> Left, right, left. <clears throat> hey Google, turn on recording lights. Sure, activating the recording lights. Thanks Google. I'm happy to help. What is up guys? Welcome back to the next episode of Pokemon Battle Revolution. Long time no see. Oh my god. Oh my god, has it been a while? I am sorry. I, I just want to throw out there, I apologize. Out of all the series on my channel, this one took the biggest hit in terms of being inconsistent. Not even Crystal took this big of a hit. It's been like, I don't know, two weeks since the last episode. And I just want to go ahead and throw out there, I apologize. All right, I'm sorry. I know it's been a lot, and I know it's been a, uh, a long time since the last episode, but... I want to go and throw out there that starting today, which is Tuesday the 24th, I'm actually recording this on the 23rd though, uh, but starting today on the 24th, we're going to be back at it, consistent Battle Revolution, Tuesdays and Thursdays, until we finish the game, and it turns out, we're actually really, really, really close to finishing this game, like surprisingly close, like two Colosseums away close and with how fast we've been flying through these coliseums in the last uh, couple of episodes it should be an absolute breeze but anyways speaking of previous episodes if you guys did miss the previous uh actually past two episodes i would highly highly recommend them because my boy ryan actually edited them for me so thank you so much ryan for the edits i really do appreciate it man he actually edited them, uh, edited them, if I could speak English, while he was in town uh, during the beginning of this month, and uh, he offered to edit them, and then I offered to edit uh, a little bit of Soul Link for him, and it, it just worked out, man. So shout out to Ryan. He absolutely killed it with the edits on those episodes. He went above and beyond, and uh, they were so freaking entertaining. So I'd highly recommend recommend you guys go peep them if I could speak English. But anyways, we're back here in the Sunset Coliseum. Looks like we got Staravia, Gloom, Shogun, Wormadam, uh, Kabuskin, and Beedrill. In case you guys don't know how the Sunset Coliseum works or in case you guys forgot how the Coliseum works which is totally understandable by the way it's been a little bit uh this Coliseum basically you're just given a random team and you're expected to go to war with it all right we're going to Nam. who's ready I'm bringing my Staravia uh let's go Staravia we'll scoop up why not Shellgun let's grab I believe it's double battles it is double battles 100% then we'll also scoop up uh oof, I don't really know gloom I guess I don't know how we're gonna take down like the Monfer well actually Monferno we have Staravia but I don't know how we're gonna take down like the Gabite unless we can like land a, a dragon type attack with Shogun but even then I mean dude Shogun's not fast he's rolling around at the speed of sound but he's not walking anywhere uh we'll go with uh Combuskin why not why not why not why not why not so far this costume hasn't been too bad so hopefully we'll continue to have great luck and over the past few episodes we have made an insane amount of progress uh, i'm just not realizing that i don't have my wrist strap on let me go and put that on as you can see more wristbands have been added to the collection this is the uh wristband that i actually got for me and my girlfriend danny i'll try and show you guys real quick actually i don't think i've ever showed this off in a video or stream yet um but it has the the words dork and nerd which is kind of like our nicknames engraved uh, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see that. Probably not. Blap! And you guys can kind of see it, but then it also has our anniversary date on it. I don't know. It's super cute. I really like it. It's also like super stylish. Like it has like this blue outline. I don't know, man. I'm really digging it. And also this clasp is super interesting. It uh, has like a little magnet on it. This next one is from Warp Tour. It was like a Journeys uh, kind of like coupon code. It was a really smart marketing move. Basically what they did was they were just handing out these free wristbands that have these coupon codes on the back. So it basically is a constant reminder and it's also incentivizing you uh, to go to Journeys. So smart marketing on their end. It was incredibly clever. Uh, and also side note, by the way, Warp Tour was absolutely nuts. It was my first time going as well as the last uh, warp tour I'm pretty sure in the United States I I'm not quite sure if it's like the last warp tour ever or if it's just the last one in the US I'm honestly not too sure if you guys know more about warp tour clarify it down below um, in the uh, in the comment section I'd absolutely love to hear from you guys but yeah no warp tour was absolutely nuts I I've never been so it was my first time and I had an absolute blast we went to the one in Nashville which was the closest one to me I went with Danny I went with Ryan I went with Skylar so many people were shirtless including myself to be honest it was extremely extremely hot out uh, there were like hydration stations and bands playing left and right it was it was crazy but it was a ton of fun unfortunately though my favorite band that I really really wanted to see which has set it off uh, they were not there 
and that honestly made me cry on the inside because usually set it off is at warp tour like set it off is a, a reoccurring member of warp tour they were at the last year's warp tour and i think the year before that and i think they're even at some of this year's warp tour but they just happen to not be at the nashville one and uh, that really pained me because I want to see them live so bad. Comment down below, question of the day. What's your favorite, like, band? Doesn't have to be from Warp Tour, just any band, period. What kind of music do you listen to? I don't know. Anyways, though, we have the wrist strap on. Also, I just want to show you guys something. And I'm not sure if you guys noticed this, but this wrist stram, wrist stram? Wow. Wrist strap is actually not originally intended for this Wiimote. Uh, this red wrist strap, I'm pretty sure I got from... A, like a Mario Kart accessory pack for the DS. I remember back when I had Mario Kart 7 on the DS. I think it was Mario Kart 7. Um, they uh, they had like these accessory packs with like styluses and like Mario themed li little stuff, like little accessories for the DS, you know? And I think I picked up one of those and that's where I got this strap and then I happened to attach it to my Wiimote instead of the default one. And uh, that's how I always know this Wiimote is mine, just because the little red strap here. I don't know. It's cute. I enjoy it. We got a Monferno here. I'm not even paying attention to the game at all. I'll be totally honest with you, dudes. Uh, I'm trying to, you know, focus in. We're trying to not lose here, but I don't know, man. I'm kind of in the mood just to have a conversation, you know? I kind of just want to talk to you guys, have a good old time. I really, I'm really, really feeling the commentary today. I don't know what it is, but... I feel like uh, I feel like in a very commentary-esque type mood, which is very, very good because your boys got to record like three episodes today. That's the goal. I want to knock out three Battle Revolution episodes. That way I'm set for this week as well as a little bit into next week. Um, and also, I've been doing a lot of stuff behind the scenes. I'm not sure if you guys... Well, actually, I talked about it a little bit on Twitter. Shameless plug if you guys want to follow me on Twitter. Highly recommend it. Um, I talked about it a little bit on Twitter, but I've been, I've been messing with some stuff. I've been doing some stream stuff. I've been messing with my stream deck. I've been setting up the merch store. So get pumped for that. That's about to be nuts. And, um, yeah, no, it's just been, it's just been great, man. I've been having a good past couple of days. It hasn't been like super productive for the most part. Um, but, uh, overall it's been, it's been okay. I got a haircut. In case you guys didn't know, we uh, we even filmed it for an intro on Ryan's channel for the co-op. Which, by the way, the co-op ended. So much has happened since I last recorded Battle Revolution. Oh my god. Oh my god. Uh, Shogun's tormented. Oh no. Uh, we'll go for the headbutt here. I have a little piece of skin on my lip. Oof. Oof. I could, like, feel it as I was talking. That was gross. Ugh. I'm sorry to even bring that up. That was just nasty. Um, anyways, though, yeah, co-op ended. Thank you guys so much for your support on that. We have an upcoming podcast coming up very, very soon. It's going to be like a weekly ordeal, and uh, we actually just got the logo for that done, so that's super awesome. Shout out to Guy, also known as LowZ98. Uh, he's also the one that made all of our merch designs, which, by the way, merch store coming soon. I've literally, like, I literally have all the designs. I'm just setting up the actual store right now. I got to get a custom URL for it. And uh, it's a process. It's a process. But you guys are about to be able to rep the coldest merch in the game. Now, actually, question for you guys. Question for you guys. Um, should we call it the coldest merch in the game to kind of bounce off of Vinny's hottest merch in the game? Or should we change it to be the coolest merch in the game? I feel like that's a little bit... A little bit more sensical but then also there's a third option that I've heavily considered and I, I feel like this is the one that I want to go with just because I think it's freaking hilarious um, but I'm thinking about calling the merch the wettest <laughs> merch in the game I I don't know let me know what you guys think about all that because um, I, I, I don't know I think it's I think it's funny just because Lapras like yeah coldest would work and that would bounce off Vinny's and like coolest would also work but like come on who doesn't want to rep the wettest merch in the game come on now oh my god yeah no, I'm really really pumped for it the designs turned out absolutely incredible I'm so excited to show you guys uh, I'll probably make an update video soon about like the merch store, as well as probably a sleep lock. If I can get the art in time, uh, I do want to do a sleep lock before summer's over. Or if I have to, I'll do it like really, really early in the school year. Uh, but I commissioned um, sleep lock GFX a while ago. It's just I've been waiting for them. But the art is totally on its way. And as soon as I get that art and as soon as I'm able to get a good date planned, um, I would absolutely love to do a sleep lock. The only problem with that is I start school literally August 1st. So... Ugh, yeah, yeah, 
School starts August 1st. We start extremely early. It's it's honestly a shame. It really, really is a shame. It feels like summer just started, but like, dude, it's it's over. We literally have like a week left and we're done. Um, so that's why I'm saying, you know, I'd love to do the sleep lock uh, before summer's over. But if I don't get the chance to, then I'll try and do it probably on a weekend sometime. I'll have to do it like on a Friday right after school, which would suck. Because that would mean that, uh, you know, I would have gone the entire day at school, so I'd be getting home already exhausted. I don't know how long I'd be able to last in a, in a sleep lock scenario like that. I've done uh, three sleep locks in the past. In case you guys don't know what a sleep lock is, let me get that out of the way first. A sleep lock is a regular randomized nose lock, except it's live streamed. And there's only three ways the live stream can end. You either, one, lose the lock. Two, win the lock, or three, you fall asleep. So you literally try to beat the entire Nuzlocke in one stream and in one sitting. It is absolutely nuts. It is honestly one of my favorite lock types just because it brings out it brings out the best in people, but it also brings out the worst in people. I've had my fair share of uh, moments during a sleep lock. It's... Whew, it's a process, man, but I've done three in the past. I did Diamond, uh, Alpha Sapphire, and I also did a Sun Sleep Lock last year, back before Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out. Um, and I've been meaning to do one for a long time, it's just I haven't gotten the chance, because you kind of have to plan them around breaks in school. Because um, doing one while in school is incredibly difficult. The only one that I've done while in school was the Sun Sleep Lock. And literally the only reason why I did it while in school was because was because I uh, I wanted to get it done before Ultra Sun and Ultra Moon came out and I just didn't have a break so so I ended up doing it on a weekend and lo and behold it was my longest sleep lock of course uh, the one where I'm like not on break and I'm still at still going to school uh, happened to be my longest one but yeah, no, I think I was up for like 44 hours straight and uh, you might be looking at that and you might be like asteroid that's probably not healthy and in response to that I'd be like yes no that is not healthy at all I would not recommend that um, but it was a ton of fun. It was an absolute blast. Unfortunately, coincidentally, that is the only sleep lock I have not won. Uh, I'm kind of notorious for being like a sleep lock veteran. Like, your, your boy doesn't like to lose sleep locks. All right, I can lose any other nose lock type of sleep locks. Nah, I want to win those. Um, so anyways, yeah, I I'm really excited though. I really want to do another one, 100%. It's just really going to come down to how quickly I can get the GFX. I commissioned it a while ago, uh, but as I said, it's, uh, it's kind of on the way still. It's still a work in progress, so we'll see what happens. If I'm able to get it before summer's over, I'll try and do one um, before it ends. If not, then I might have to dip into school a little bit, and that'll just honestly be, uh, be kind of like a then problem because it really just depends on, you know, like a, a good weekend to do it. Because when I did the sun sleep lock, the Monday that I went back to school, I was gone. Like, your boy, I was... I was not in a good spot. Um, I remember it very vividly as just not being a good time. So I want to make sure I have enough recovery time after the sleep block because that's honestly the most important thing. Um, anyways, though, hopefully guys having a fantastic day. As always, thank you guys for coming out and supporting the series. I really do appreciate it. You guys are freaking beautiful. I appreciate your company. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. Uh, we'll go with the Fury Attack on Lone Braid to talk about the game for a second. I don't know. I feel like I feel like you guys don't come here for the game though. Like like okay, genuinely, how many of you guys watch me for the game that I'm playing? Because I know like you know a lot of you guys are probably Pokemon fans and that makes sense uh, Just because of the fact that my channel is mostly Pokemon, but let me know down below do you, do you guys really care what game I'm playing because I remember uh, this was like last year I did a live stream of I am bread right and it was literally like I'm not this wasn't even like when I am bread was popular No, 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 this was like a year or two after I am bread was uh, significant all right, but I was playing I am bread on stream and I remember that stream had like twice as many viewers as a normal Pokemon stream I vividly remember that because it was just so crazy to me that you guys came out for such like a niche game um, You know like I feel like a lot of the times when you're watching like content creators just in general um, I feel like a lot of the times you're looking at like what game they're playing and whether you're personally interested in that uh, so either a lot of you guys were interested in I Am Bread, or you guys just came out and, and supported regardless of what I was playing. Which honestly is extremely humbling because, you know, nobody wants to be locked into one game. And a lot of Poketubers fall into that, that category where, like, if they do anything but Pokemon, it's just, it's just not successful. 
you know? And um, I I'm really, really glad that we haven't fallen. And by we, I mean like our squad, like Vinny and Ryan and Dylan. You know, we all do Pokemon stuff, but I don't think if we ever, you know, mixed it up and did more than just Pokemon, I, I don't think it would really affect us, you know? So that's super cool. Thank you guys so much for being so kind and supportive. And uh, it really does mean the world to me. What is Licky Tongue doing with that tongue? Hold up. Rewind. Boop. What is that? I don't even know. I don't even know. This man was flying us talking. He looks like he was trying to beat the ground. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my god. You see, look at look at tongue. I I don't know, man. I I, I don't know what he's doing. You know, I have a lot of questions. <sighs> is it just me or is our team just not good against the Pokemon we're going up against? I feel like this is just not not good. Like <laughs> we don't have we don't seem to have the type advantage in any of these matchups. I mean, I guess it's partially because I'm just not making the type advantages, but I feel like our team is just not not really doing it. Not really doing the diggly darn thing. And that's kind of unfortunate. Knockoff is going to do nothing. I forgot that Knockoff does nothing in this gen. Um, knockoff was only good until 6th gen is when it actually got decent. But, and anyways, we got Mawile here. Yo, look at my boy. Oh, now he's looking in the air. He's like, damn, oxygen. <laughs> I feel like that's what Lucky Tongue would sound like. He'd be like, ah, like something like that. I, I, <laughs> that was probably the dumbest noise I've ever made. But you know what? I'm not even mad. I'm not even mad. We're going to go for oh, this move set is absolute garbage. This move set's literally the most garbage. Oh my God. I, I, I mean, I thought this Coliseum was going to be fine just because like, you know, they'd give us Pokemon. I'm sure they would be decent considering this is like, this is like the last or one of the last Colosseums in the game. Uh, I think this is literally the third to last Colosseum. Because according to Ryan, which I was talking to him about this earlier, you guys can confirm if he's actually correct. Um, but according to him, we have the Courtyard Colosseum, and then the Final Colosseum, and then that's literally it for this game. Which is kind of nuts, because, um, I don't know, this series has kind of flown by, or at least that's what it feels like. Like, I feel like I just started playing this game, but no, we're rocking and rolling through it. I guess it is kind of a, a short game, too, so that probably explains some of it. But it's honestly just crazy that we're we're making this much progress. Um, I know we were stuck on the Neon Coliseum for a while, but outside of that, we've been doing the Diggly Darn thing. We've been doing it. He's going to go for the Ember, though. That's a crit. Okay, can you not? Can you can you just... I like how Mawile's actual face, like, never shows. Like, it doesn't even look like she has a face at all it doesn't even show for like a second it's just all mouth all all head mouth claw jaw thing i don't know i don't know what it is yo lick that boy lick him lick him up and down that's an absorb come on is licky tongue gonna be able to do this i don't know man but i feel like we're in a kind of a sticky situation here because like dude he, he's not he's not doing much all right i mean i don't know I don't know. Look at Tongue. It's all up to you, though. Oh, yes. Double kick. Yeah, this is going to be over quick. Please tell me we have perfect points. Please tell me we have perfect points. Oh, look at the berry. Yo. Look at Tongue. Look at you go. Look at Tongue. More like lick, lick it. Look at. Uh, I was trying to make a pun on look at you go and look at Tongue. Like, like lick, lick at you. Lick at you. I, I take it back. That was, that was just awful. I'm sorry. Like, I, I genuinely want to apologize for that. That was. That was just gross. That was that was 100% probably the most gross and um, ill-advised thing I've ever said in my life. Uh, we'll go for, I guess, the lick. I don't know what else we can do because like tongue's kind of useless. We got we got really bad mons. This was this was not a favorable matchup, as the commentator would say. <sighs> I don't know how to feel about this. I don't know how to feel. Uh, I really, really hope we don't have to redo this whole Coliseum, though, because if so, I think I might actually cry. I'm trying to, like, make some progress today, all right? I'm going to be recording three episodes, and I want to I wanna finish the game today. Yo, how crazy would that be? How crazy would that be if I just finished the entire LP today in this one recording session? That, that would be nuts. That would be nuts. I might try and do that. If we can get through this battle, we might be able to, because we only have one more battle in this Coliseum, and then just two more Coliseums, and assuming we can get through those fairly well... Uh, we might be set to just finish this game. I don't know. That's kind of crazy. That's kind of crazy. We're going to lose, though. Please give me a perfect point. Please give me a pity perfect point. Pity perfect point. Just give me give me something out of pity. Uh, I don't like this.
That is so frustrating. That is actually so frustrating. Hold up. Oh, no, no, we didn't do magma. We still have magma. Oh, okay, so we have like four Colosseums left. Because now, now we have to restart the sunset. Great! Fantastic! Okay! I totally forgot we didn't do magma. Um, okay. Here's what we're gonna do, right? I think we're gonna, I think we're gonna, we're gonna try... Should we try magma now? Should we just do magma? Let me, let me rearrange our passes. And then I think we'll just go and do magma now. Just, just, just for a change of pace. You know, because why not? I mean, I like sunset, but I want to mix things up. Speaking of mixing things up, though, let's go ahead and mix up this team. Uh, Rotom, unfortunately, is super low leveled, so let's try and switch them out, and let's make it, like, the best possible team we can, um, excluding legendaries, I think, because, I don't know. I don't know if I really want to grab legendaries. I mean, we could grab the Dark Eye and the Suicune again, but uh, if possible, I think I'd rather avoid it. So, let's grab, let's see, let's see, we could grab, like, Machoke. That'd be pretty cool. We got Mr. Big J. Shout out to uh, Pokemon Crystal. Um, hmm. You know what? Let's grab, let's grab Machoke. What are your moves? What you got? What you got? What you rocking out with? Wake up, slap, cross chop. All right. Yeah, let's pick up, um, let's pick up Machoke. Because I feel like Machoke is, like, decent enough level. And also, it's something different. Uh, we should be able to rock out with that. We can also replace, we have a lot of water types. Let's replace, uh, um, I don't know. I don't know who we should get rid of here. I really want Lapras. I know Empoleon is incredibly useful. Uh, well, actually, Empoleon is the one bringing up all the opponents to 59. And assuming Magma is the same way that the, uh, what Coliseum was it? The Crystal Coliseum was? I think we might not want to have Pip on the team. Just because then every Pokemon would become level 52, which is much more manageable for the rest of our team. So, let's switch out Pip. Let's switch out Pip because I really want Lapras. And I also really, really want Waylord. Um, let's see what else we could throw on here. Something that's useful, something that's a decent level, preferably. Honestly, it'd be cool to use Gyarados, but he's only level 35. I don't know, I don't know how useful that'd really be to us. Um, we could grab Ledian, actually. I'm trying to, like, mix things up and use some Pokemon that we haven't used before, but... Honestly, like, there's no reason for me not to grab, like, Ledian or Floatzel. Um, just because at this point, like... Or, or honestly, poop. Because at this point, really, we, um, we really just need, like, Pokemon that could actually fend for themselves. I'm trying to, like, find a good mix between, like, being able to win and also, like, fun, you know? Because, like, I don't want to use the same Pokemon we've been using. Um, but I also don't want to, like, you know, lose. So, uh... I think we'll just throw Ledian on the team, to be honest, because honestly, it's about time we brought back Fart, and I missed him, man. He's looking fresh as hell, and, um, I don't know. He should be, he should be good. So, we mixed things up a little bit. I wish I could have mixed things up more, but at this point, we're kind of, uh, kind of limited in terms of what Pokemon we could use. We might have to do another live stream soon, where, like, we go back in and, um, and catch some more mons to use. Um, especially if we keep losing here, I think that might be smart just to go back through, do like one more live stream where we just catch a bunch of stuff. But with that all being said, thank you guys so much for watching today's episode of Pokemon Battle Revolution. Next episode will be up on Thursday. Be sure to go ahead and peep it. It's about to be absolutely nuts. We'll go in with the Magma Coliseum with the newly built team. Uh, leave your comments down below. You guys are freaking beautiful. And I will see you dudes in the next episode. Peace.